Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 25 to midnight on Friday the 4th of August. I am fucking rammed with stuff. I'm so stressed right now. I've got loads of house stuff to do. I've got loads of computer stuff to do. And of course I have loads of client stuff to do. My band is also playing a gig on Sunday, which means most of Sunday is out. Although at least now that I don't drink, when I come home I can carry on being productive, you know? Um, but yeah, it's weird. It, I enjoy playing this, this festival last year. It's called Festival. Um, but this year I'm just like it's just something that has to be got out of the way so I can get back to work basically Because um, I've just been been working really hard since I got back from vegan camp out trying to catch up with stuff And that's pretty much where I'm at today Dane reads I've been out in the garden as well. I've been, done some painting Various bits and bobs. We're starting work on a like a, a house renovation here essentially so lots of redecorating and things like that because when I first moved in I just updated all the paintwork basically. Um, I didn't necessarily like make it my own. So um, so yeah, finishing off some bits in the garden. I just have all that's really left to do out in the garden is Shay's got some weeding to do. Um, there is some garlic to, to potentially harvest as well. Uh, and then next up is gonna be the bathroom, which is gonna be black. So I've been ordering some bits and bobs for that. So that's all very exciting. Um, and yes, just cracking on with client work, which is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the evening. I might even, I've been watching some of the interactive Netflix things, uh, like I think You vs Wild, I think it's called with Bear Grylls in it. Um, so I'm going to be, be watching some more of that tonight while, um, while working on my client stuff. Reading wise, um, I've been reading David Attenborough, um, what's it called? Uh, the Trials of Life. So I've been, I've been listening to an audio book of that. Um, four hours, 20 minutes in of 10 hours, and I only started it this week, so I should finish it soon. Very interesting though, uh, lots of really cool biology stuff, lots of stuff about like how homing pigeons work, um, how creatures give birth, how they make nests, all of that stuff, so really good stuff. Probably gonna be a strong 3.5 out of five. Um, I read some Albert Camus, and I wish I could tell you what it was called, but I, I cannot remember what it's called actually. Maybe it'll be in my wrap up no because i haven't edited my wrap up so no i can't remember what it's called but i read an albert camus book which was like 3.5 out of 5 really good it was about um like revolutions basically and whether you need bloodshed to have a revolution and whether we need like full-scale rev revolutions and military coups and all of this stuff um so yeah that was really interesting like 3.5 out of 5 and now i'm reading the bedding of boys by edward lawn which is a strong 4 out of 5 shay has already read it uh, she really enjoyed it i've been enjoying it as well basically about a woman and a ghost and murder and having sex with teenage boys. So what's not to like about that? Um, it's really good. Uh, it's the first one of Lorne's books, which is fully read to me, just like on a par with someone like Stephen King. Uh, the rest of them, they do have little touches to them where, that remind you that they're indie. This one, not so much. So yes, uh, pro pretty, probably gonna be a strong four out of five. So that's where I'm at and I'm now going to go back to work. And if you're wondering why I'm filming on my phone and not my camera, it's because my camera got wet at vegan camp out, so I need to get another one. Hooray. Hello people of YouTube. It is uh, quarter to ten on Sunday the 6th of uh, August. Uh, Shay is currently making some delicious food. Go and follow Shay's Vegan Journey on Instagram. She's made a, a vegan page. So lots of interesting, delicious food there. I think she's a better cook than me. Um, and yes, today I went to uh, Festival at the Bell in Princess Risborough where my band played. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, there'll be footage of that if you just search for facebook.com forward slash the ilk or on Instagram, it's at the ilkstagram. Um, you'll be able to watch some of that footage if you would like to. It seemed to go pretty well. Made some money for cancer research, so that's all good. I was pretty tired, not gonna lie. I didn't really sleep much last night. My sleep pattern is just fucked. Um, but hey ho, I, I, you know, it is what it is. I managed to make it to the, to the gig at least. I'm now back. I'm being productive. I'm doing some filming, some working, some editing, all of that stuff. Um, and that's where I'm at. I'm still reading, um, Edward Lawn, uh, The Bedding of Boys. That's, it's really good. Probably a four out of five, strong four out of five. And up next, what have I got up next? I guess 2061 Odyssey 3 by Arthur C. Clarke is probably going to be the, my next read. So that's where I'm at. And I'm wearing my little necklace I got from Vegan Camp Out. Very nice. Yeah. And eyeliner, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, and I've ordered a new camera. So this is my second new camera of the year. So far this year, I spent 500 quid replacing a camera that I already had. So I've got to stop breaking the fucking thing. Ugh! Yo, yo, it is um, three in the morning of Tuesday, the 8th of August. Um, productive day, really. Um, as you can tell, I'm still up at three in the morning doing work and filming and shit. 
Um, but yes, I did some work in the bathroom downstairs. I've done some painting down there. I don't know how, how, how much I like it. So I'm gonna wait until Shay next comes over and get her thoughts on it. Cause I might just paint back over what I've painted, at least parts of it. Um, but yes, it's part of my ongoing like updates to the house. We went to a shop in Wickham called Sostene Grenny, um, which has got some really cool stuff. So I've got some really nice things for the kitchen, including like a really good chopping board and a sieve, both of which I used today while making pasta and it gave me great joy. Um, other than that, yeah, just cracking on with being productive. Um, I've finished reading The Bedding of Boys by Edward Lorne. That was a strong four out of five review coming soon. And I'm now reading 2061 uh, Odyssey 3 by Arthur C. Clarke. So far, pretty good. Um, probably gonna be a 3.5 out of five. We will see how uh, we get on with that. And that's where I'm at reading wise. Uh, I met up with Shay earlier um, and we signed up at a new gym, uh, Buzz Gym, I think it's called. Um, so yeah, we went to the gym together, which was very sweet, like a nice coupley thing to do. We're gonna go back again tomorrow. We just like chill on the, well I say chill. We've just got on the running machines. Uh, we're gonna listen to Zombies Run, uh, which is a fun little little app as well. And um, yeah, so hopefully we'll go back tomorrow and then I think I'm going to hers or maybe she's coming to mine, we will see. If she comes to mine, uh, we will probably have a barbecue because I have a new barbecue and we can test out the new outdoor seating I've got. And uh, yeah, just cracking on. I do have a call at 2 p.m., which is in 11 hours. So I probably should sleep soon, but you know, you know, you know what it's like. Yo, your boy is back on a Canon G7X Mark I. So this is the second of these that I've bought this year and the third that I've had. Hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer than the three months or so that the last one did. So I've got my new camera now. I'm still reading 2061 Odyssey 3 by Arthur C. Clarke and it's very good. Um, probably a week four out of five so far. Some really cool stuff. There's a, sh a spaceship with a swimming pool on it which is cool. Uh, then we have Les Elfes Les Purple Caché by... Oh, I don't think it has a name associated with it. By Almena Bocafelergio, I guess. I think that's the publishing house that did it. Um, and this is 12 Icelandic popular folk tales uh, in French. So I started reading that in the bath at Shays yesterday and got like three quarters of the way through and have been enjoying it. Um, I spotted a typo in it as well, which is very cool. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, we went to the gym yesterday and I, we did an hour on the treadmills. I ran for, I did 4.5 miles and burned 700 calories, which I think is pretty good for my, my second ever time. Well, not my second ever time, but my second time this time. Last time I went to the gym, I was 15, so 19 years ago. Um, and we're hopefully going again later, although we are both a bit bruised and battered and all that shit. But we're gonna do we're gonna do what we can. Um, I've ordered some new stuff to take with me as well. I've got a new water bottle knocking around somewhere. Well, it's actually a thermos, but I got a new one of those. Um, I've got some new headphones coming, like some in-ear earphones rather than my big clunky headphones because it would just be easier to jog in them. And uh, some running shoes as well because at the moment I'm just running in my regular trainers, which is why I'm getting blisters. But yes, yeah, so I have a call at 7pm and then I'm going to go meet Shay at the gym and we're going to do another hour on the treadmills and play some Zombies Run. So that should be good. I stayed at Shay's last night and I will be staying there again tonight because she has an interview tomorrow um, at the shop we really like called Sostrene Grene, uh, which also I've been going into quite a lot to buy stuff because I've been, oh man, I've been doing a big uh, revamp of the house. So I've, the bathroom is now black. I've painted the door and the radiator black and we've got black accessories. Been slowly but surely upgrading all of the kitchen kind of equipment. Uh, the garden's pretty much done. So yeah, I've been spending a lot of money on it, which isn't good because I have to buy the fucking freehold for this place soon as well. Um, but actually, I'm not too stressed about money because I think I can take a loan out. And my dad said he'd lend me some money if needed. It's all going to work out. It's all going to be okay. I just have to work as much as I can, which means I haven't been doing much writing. Um, but it is what it is, y'all. Hello, people of the internet. I'm looking very red because I've got the curtains closed, but you're just going to have to deal with that. It is 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, the 10th of August. It's Shay and uh, my uh, 13th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Shay! Happy anniversary! Yay! She's in the bedroom playing Movie Star Planet. I am here cracking on with some work. Quick bit of filming. I've got a client Q&A at uh, 7. I'm very tired. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea before it. Hopefully that will help. Um, 
But yes, I thought I'd give you a quick update. I'm still reading 2061 Odyssey 3 by Arthur C. Clarke. Um, I have been spending money on housey bits, uh, including at Sostrene Grene, which is a shop that we both like and that Shay had an interview at today that went quite well. So we're just waiting to hear back about that. Biggie's around here somewhere meowing, and I think that's that's about it. I, it's, it's, oh, we played mini golf earlier. Uh, Shay won. <laughs> Wow, Jesus Christ, Biggie, are you all right? <laughs> but yeah, so Shay won the mini golf uh, by one point. Uh, uh, she went to the gym today as well, and I did not. I'm having a rest day. But we might go tomorrow, because Shay wants to watch the end of Gone Girl, and I want to burn more calories. All right. Hello, everybody. Wet Hair Dane here. It is currently 20 past one in the morning of Saturday, the 12th of August. Productive uh, little time really. I'm still reading 2061 Odyssey 3 by Arthur C. Clarke. Still very much enjoying. Um, probably the best of the lot. Well, it's a toss up between that and Odyssey 2, weirdly. Odyssey 1 was just okay. But yes, I'm enjoying that. I've been listening to my audiobook of The Doll by Daphne du Maurier. I'm actually going to need another audiobook before long as well because I've been doing that much jogging. Uh, speaking of jogging, I've also I went to the gym earlier today. Um, this is my, what is it, my fifth no my fourth time going to the gym since monday so that's good i've lost a little bit of weight shay's lost a little bit of weight and we're still on week one so that's very nice um enjoying it doing zombies run while i'm at it as well i'm pushing for i want to try and hit uh five miles covered um but we will see at the moment i guess my current goal is because i'm doing 4.5 miles an hour and today I hit about 38 minutes at that uh, jogging at that speed before I had to slow down to a walk at 3.5. Um, so I guess if I can get up to 60 minutes jogging at 4.5, then I can start to, you know, go 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, and start going up a little bit each time each time I go there. Um, so that's the plan. I am actually really enjoying running at the moment. I'm really enjoying sort of pushing myself and. Um, I don't know, maybe one day I'll do a 5k or a 10k or something. But the thing is, I find it a lot easier to jog on, on running machines than I do to jog out in, uh, you know, in public for whatever reason. But yes, um, I've done most of my um, untimed client work today. I have some more client work to do that's on the timer and shit, so I'll do that on a little bit later. My sleep was weird today. I mean, we woke up this morning. And I say this morning, it was this afternoon. We got out of bed, we did some gardening, we went to the gym, and by the time we got out of the gym, it was half seven at night. So we got up pretty late this afternoon. <laughs> so I guess I'll be up late tonight working. But yeah, I'm still just slowly but surely having my little sort out around the house as well. I'm spending way more money than I can afford to spend. Um, but it's okay, because I'm buying myself some nice things, you know? So <laughs> it's nice, I'm like, since I moved, when I moved in, I just gave everything like a splash of paint and I bought things I didn't have. What I'm now doing is like buying upgrades. So instead of just having whatever random plates and shit that I had, I'm now buying a nice plate set. I'm buying some nice mugs. I'm upgrading all of the kitchen implements. Um, you know, so that's where we're at. Yo, yo, hello everybody. It is 25 past nine on Saturday, the 12th of August. Um, went to the gym earlier. Well, I, I didn't go to bed till like 6 a.m. Then woke up at like 6 p.m. Pretty much went straight to the gym. Met Shay there. Did my hour on the treadmill. Uh, it's been my least productive um, jog so far. But, you know, it was hard. It was harder than usual. Um, I, I guess because, I don't know, I'm in need of a rest day. My feet are knackered. I've started to chafe as well. So I didn't go any, instead of doing like just under five miles, I did just over four miles. So that's still something. Um, burned off some calories, all of that stuff. Just had my meal deal from Tesco. So uh, back from that, I'm still reading 2061 Odyssey 3 by Arthur C. Clarke. Uh, I'm near the end now, pretty good. Probably gonna be, probably four out of five to be honest. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Uh, and uh, I'm also listening to my audiobook of The Doll by Daphne du Maurier, The Doll and Other Stories. Um, but I'm doing that as and when I'm um, jogging at home. And I'm not jogging at home as much because I don't need to because I'm doing it at the gym. Um, so yes, I've been doing my Wii Fit as well. It's all, all busy, busy, busy. Um, house reno and stuff and revamp is still going well. Um, got some more bits in the kitchen. I've got a new shower curtain to go and hang in a bit. Got some more stuff to sort through here. And I've got some painting to do. I might paint the roof red. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. So we will see. Hello everybody. Yo, yo, yo. It is uh, 25 to midnight on... Wednesday the 16th of July 
Uh, went to the gym earlier, so my third day in a row at the gym, another day of progress, so that's very good. I'm still reading um, The Lost Worlds of 2001 by Arthur C. Clarke. Uh, big news now, I have a standing desk. Check this out. All right, so my desk's... How am I going to do this? Uh, maybe we'll... Oh, okay. Quick, go. Well, I didn't press the button. Very nice. And then I can just wander over and put the camera down here. It actually goes higher, so I'm probably going to get the highest setting. There we go. Hi, I'm here. Uh, I'll get the highest setting set up so that I can use it as a, a tripod hanger or something. But now, you see, now if I turn around, oh, that's you can't really tell, I guess, but that's head height for me is, is, is that. So we'll put it back down. So anyway, that's very exciting. That's the new thing. Um, I stayed over at Shay's yesterday. I had a bath there after the gym. Um, and then I uh, walked her to a chiropractor's appointment this morning. Then we went to Asda, because we were right by Asda for the chiropractor anyway. Just gonna get some goodies, so that was good. Um, not too much planned other than working. The next main thing is going to be uh, the KX10, one of my clients, uh, Q&A call on Thursday. So, gearing up to that. In the meantime, I'm just going to do a little bit of editing now and then we'll crack on with some more work. Hello everybody. It is currently quarter past one on the morning of Friday the 18th of August. Did another gym sesh. That was good. I just had the jack potato with salad. So that was very tasty as well. Uh, saw Shay while we were at the gym. So that was good. Other than that, just being productive. I sleep in weird hours. I have an interview at 11am for my radio show and then... Uh, consultation calls at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. so I don't know maybe I'll sleep at some point we <laughs> will see I guess um, but yes just in the meantime cracking on with some client work and catching up with my filming and whatnot don't have much to, to add to you I'm still reading uh, the lost worlds of 2001 still very much enjoying it and that's where I'm at yo Hello and yo, it is um, quarter to 11 on Friday the 18th, pardon me, of um, August. I went to the gym earlier, again, five days in a row. I've actually run a marathon this week over the last five days, if you add them all together. So that's pretty good. Um, saw Shay while I was there, which was lovely as well. Been doing more decorating and all of that stuff. I also had three calls today. I've also got food coming uh, from a supermarket and being delivered tomorrow night. So that will be nice. Um, and yeah, I'm still reading The Lost Worlds of 2001 by Arthur C. Clarke. I'm right at the end now. I've also made good progress on my audiobook of The Doll and Other Stories by uh, Daphne du Maurier. Next up, I'm probably going to read The Best of Arthur C. Clarke, 1937 to 1971. Uh, because why not read more Arthur C. Clarke? So that's where I'm at. Um, just more productivity, really. You know the drill. Yo, hello, it's me. It is 25 to 9 on Saturday the 19th of August. It's my mum's 60th birthday tomorrow. I've sent her a card and some flowers that should arrive tomorrow, so that's very nice. And we're going to see her next week. Haven't done too much today. I worked reasonably late last night and then slept like a log because I, was, I had like a sleep deficit. Um, I'm still reading The Lost Worlds of 2001, but I should finish it pretty soon. Um, that is my girlfriend Shay just messaging me on WhatsApp. Um, she bought this bathroom set online and it didn't, um, it's not up to scratch. Um, oh, it does say free returns, because that was what she was worried about. But um, yes, it's not very good, unfortunately, which is a shame, because it, it looks really good in the listing. Anyway, um, I'm just going to keep on cracking on. I uh, did a bit of work in the garden earlier. I've got an Asda shop coming later from the supermarket. And then tomorrow I have got a guy coming around at 11am to look at potentially installing a, um, uh, a kitchen, a plug in the kitchen for my, um, my, my oven. So we will see. Hello everybody. It is um, three minutes past midnight on Monday, the 21st of August, um, 2023. 
My mouth's a bit on fire because uh, we've just had we just had dinner. It was delicious, wasn't it, Shay Shay? It was amazing. Yeah, we had uh, vegan chicken with some seasoned fries, um, with some Mediterranean style vegetables with them, and um, hot pickled onions. Except Shay didn't have any pickled onions or vegetables. I had one. Oh yeah, you had one, and you did try some of the vegetables. Um, so yeah, that was delicious. We had a little ice cream earlier. Um, I slept for most of the day to be honest. Um, I had a guy come around uh, 11 a.m. to look at the uh, oven to, to fit a socket to that so that I can get a, an electric oven at some point. Um, so he's going to give me a quote by sort of Tuesday-ish and then I went back to sleep. Uh, woke up, went to the gym, met Shay after the gym and we are now back here. Um, I'm about to go and join Shay in bed and uh, she... Yay! Uh -oh. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully you guys heard that. I am reading The Best of Arthur C. Clarke, 1937 to 1971. Pretty good so far, probably gonna be a four out of five. I finished reading The Lost Worlds of 2001. That was a strong four out of five. Probably gonna be in my top books of the quarter. Um, don't know what I'm gonna read after that. Oh, probably the one that Shay gave me. Um, what's it called? The Co Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. So it's a prequel to The Hate You Give. So that is my next book that I plan to read. And next week we are going to Tamworth to stay at my mum's. We're going to go to Drayton Manor. It's going to be good. Um, but on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. So thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. And if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.